welcome back to our channel you guys this whole equation right here this beautiful equation is why be paris I am Dasha Paris. This is my baby, Ray Woods. Ooh. <laughs> and today we're going to, well, baby gonna do most of the talking. I'm gonna make sure she don't lie or she, <laughs> or she don't make the process sound easier than it really was. Yo, today we're gonna have a little small Q&A for y'all since y'all got so many questions. We're gonna let y'all know how we got this seed of popping. Of where we're gonna vlog the delivery process, like labor and all that. How you feel about that? Cause I think I got some feelings about that. Um, me personally, since I'm just the one holding the camera, <laughs> I have no issues with that. If the like, if the hospital don't be like, uh, excuse me, ma'am, too much, you know. Baby going like, out here. Yeah, if I'm allowed to, I will. But if baby feels like um, that's a little bit too personal, then you know, I'll just come outside the room, say a few things, come back. You know, yeah. not actually do the process, but do the stuff before and afterwards. Yeah, I mean clearly, um, cause they even had mentioned this in their question. Like clearly, we're not gonna show, you know, all gory, your part, personal, you know, information. <laughs> clearly, but yeah, I mean, I definitely want y'all to know when the baby coming. Like, I don't, I don't really feel like we're gonna put up. 16 million videos talking about baby coming. Oh, we thought it was coming. Just kidding, six hours later, like nothing like that. But yeah, I do want y'all to see, um, you know, the process. I want y'all to know when we're in labor. I want y'all to know what the baby's actual birthday is. Are we gonna do a, a, a baby room? Are we gonna have a baby room? Yes. I don't know if that's a weird question or not. <laughs> yes. Are we gonna have a baby room? We're moving soon. Yeah. And so, our own two bedroom place yeah. and the second bedroom is going to be all for the baby yeah i'm excited i can't wait but you know just got to keep it in the prayers hope everything works out great of course we're going to vlog everything whether it goes good or it does yeah i can't i mean i really can't wait to do a, um you know a baby room because i don't really want the traditional blue or pink in the room so it's going to be fun to um do finally see yeah, yeah do something different and then finally see what uh, we come up with and be all cute and whatnot just uh just the process of making a room for a little human is, is exciting are you guys planning to have a baby shower yes <laughs> yes and yes we need all the gifts any gifts look at you what <laughs> i'm yes. just being real of course we're planning Excuse me, of course we plan on having a baby shower. Like I really don't know what couple in life is not planning on having a baby shower. Like it's two it's two separate families, you know what I'm saying, becoming one right now. So definitely a lot of people going wanna, you know, sit and commune with us. Well somebody did ask me when are we getting a um, PO box so they can send us. Uh, for the for the next uh, five months that we're, we are where we are, we're definitely gonna set up a PO box within this week. Like y'all gonna see this video Monday. We're setting it up within this week. So one of the videos this week will have our PO box in the description. We're gonna mention it, and then you know what I'm saying if y'all need it, y'all just hit us up on one of our social outlets. Are you guys nervous about becoming new moms? <laughs> I'm gonna go first. <laughs> I am extremely nervous. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. It's it's good nervous though. It's not like, oh my god, why did I do this? Yeah. It's more so. I hope I be good. I hope I be good. I hope I do it right. I hope I do it right. Yeah. Type nervous. Yeah. So we'll see how good I am at being a mom. Um. All right. I guess that leaves moi. And personally, I'm not nervous about being a parent. Now, I will tell y'all at what point in this whole entire process, I was the most nervous. I was the most nervous the second I felt like I was like about to be pregnant. Like, and this is during the whole insemination process. Like the second I thought I might be pregnant, I was like, what on earth am I going to do pregnant? Like, how's my life about to change? Like, once I finally realized, oh my goodness, we're doing this. I was like, I was like, no, 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 I ain't ready, I ain't ready to take it back. Okay, first, baby, <laughs> tell them about the ovulation process. Like, how long did it take? What did you take? So on and so forth. During the ovulation process, we had, uh, I had used this little app. Really, it's an app I've been using for 
for the past three years since I've been with my baby, you know, about three years since I've been with my little baby. And um, it's called Eve. For those of you who have an iPhone, it's called Eve. It's called a period tracker or whatever. I never did that, I kept up with my little cycle or whatever prior to this relationship. So yeah, got that popping off or whatever. So you use that app, you said the app was called Eve that you use for your ovulation. Yeah. But how long did you have to um, get, like keep track of it before we actually did the process? I did that for two months before we actually tried to, uh, you know, do the do. So yeah, two months is all it took for me to feel like I had a pattern. Plus, you know, on top of tracking my period every month prior to. And, okay, and she did, um, I told y'all I gotta make sure that she put in everything for those out there who want, couples out there that wanna do this next, you know. Yeah. She also did um, prenatal pills as well as tracking her ovulation those two months that before we actually tried she was taking prenatal pills every day every single day to um you know make the process easier i suppose yeah. right we were just um getting my little vitamin intake up since i never did take any um they told us what how to eat and what things to cut out you know like turning up and stuff like that cut out the alcohol yeah you know, you cut out the smoking if you're a smoker. You um, eat foods high in folic acid. You eat a lot of grains and nuts mm -hmm. or whatever. This was just this was just a lot of like we did a lot of research before we did this. Like we're just looking up everything. Google Queens, like you know what I'm saying. Every time we ask ourselves a question, where there just be a little question in the moment or whatever, we like mm. all on the phone, just getting answers. So once once we got the ovulation down to a science, I would say. You know, um we chose the next days okay we did we did three days inseminated her three days yeah. of december of 2017. yeah and <clears throat> three days in a row yeah that's what i was gonna say i want you to talk to them about do you think that it is necessary to do um three days or do you feel like we've just been extra because it gives you the days of your ovulation that's going to be the highest like you know one day out of your ovulation you get this thing called a surge like well that period tracker it helps you find or know which days are going to be one of those you know one of those three days are going to be a surge so we did it every day that said it was the highest percentage of fertility so i was like yeah i mean i do feel as if it's necessary because we have no clue what which, day yeah, out of the three regardless yeah regardless of how high it's say the um fertility percentages we did it because we like yo better safe than sorry because we would hate to be like oh we didn't do it the last day and then i didn't get pregnant so you know did you do a sperm bang did you go to somebody you knew that's so y'all so funny with this question too like did you have sex <laughs> y'all so funny with this question um we did not we did not go to a sperm bank that's that's one um, I have no idea how much that stuff costs because like we decided that we would do the at home route first before we, um, you know, exhausted all the cheaper possibilities before we decided to go spend a million dollars because, you know, a lot of people have spent all that money and it still was unsuccessful. Mm -hmm. So we did not go to a sperm bank. I did not. <laughs> <laughs> I repeat, I did not. I did not have sex with a man. Uh, and uh, I'm very grateful that it's possible to not have to. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm very grateful that. Yeah. I mean, I don't. I don't really care what, what I've done in my past, but now I'm very grateful that it, it didn't have to go down that way. You no, know, we did use a known donor, someone that me and baby both know and are comfortable with, mm -hmm. and felt as if you know, at, at the end of the day, they had the best interest in mind for ourselves and the future child. So, okay. Um, I'm trying to think of all the stuff that I would ask if I was watching this video. <laughs> so, what um, what did you use to inseminate yourself? You know? You want to kill them? Huh? You want to kill them? Oh. But not. Now these right here, those are, soft, those are called soft cups. Y'all can see that very well. I see soft cups. Um, they come in a little package just like this, like you, you know, like your regular pad would. Now, for those of you who don't know what these things are, it's what some females use for their period, you know. 
you don't want to use a tampon or a pad or whatever. Um, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna open this so y'all can see what it looks like. It literally is a cup, a little cup, like just like this. It's round. You, you push it out. Comes out like this. We had our friend handle his business in these little cups. You see, it's not big at all. So clearly, you know, it, it don't. Yeah, it, it don't does take not much. take much. And this was ne like we never got like it's not like peeing in this. So we never got like a full thing. And you see how how little this is. Like it's not big at all. So we never had to use a full thing of this. We did. We used this, and it is it's it's flexible. So when you put it in, it just cups all your insides, all that good stuff. We did that three times in a row. We, we used that three days in a row. And um, the process went like, you know, put that in, had my legs up, elevated, had my hips and my legs elevated for 30 minutes or more each of those days. <laughs> One of those days I actually fell asleep, so. <laughs> I'm pretty sure that day may have had something to do with it. I personally think that's the day that worked. <laughs> Cause she was in the air forever. I was knocked out. And even sometimes after all that time spent, you know, elevated, I would walk around with the cup in sometimes for just a little while, like a couple hours. Yeah. And then, you know. Two weeks later. And then, you know, we found out that, you know, pregnant. So I hope that this was enough. If y'all have more questions, I promise we will answer them. But anywho, you guys, make sure y'all comment on this video. Leave more questions if that's, you know, what your heart desires. Hopefully, hopefully we have, you know, cleared up any of them gray areas you guys had about, you know, this whole entire process for those of you who want to get it popping, get y'all a family shaking up, you know what I'm saying? Um, Baby already said, comment on this video, like this video, you know what I'm saying? Hopefully y'all liked it before y'all even watch it because y'all know we got good stuff going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, YB Pierce in the building, you know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all stay on the lookout for that P.O. box. Make sure y'all just let us know, you know what I'm saying? How y'all feeling about our channel? How y'all feeling about YB Pierce as a whole? 